So it's September 2nd and the gardens are finishing up for the year, but there's still a few things that we're harvesting during the week to eat with our dinners, which is fun. This bed had a bunch of uh, cabbage and cauliflower, uh, which we harvested and ate already. And I planted some of these cucumbers uh, as I pulled out the cauliflowers. Um, everything this year I started from seed. And I'm also letting some things like this spinach um, bolt and go to seed so I can collect my own seeds this year to use for next year. It's a big broccoli plant. Some lettuce that we're still using from here. And there's a few carrots at the end down there. And some radish seeds that we're waiting to dry out. Uh, one cool thing about the cabbage, uh, this one we already harvested and ate. I think we ate it on chicken burgers, we like to make a coleslaw. Um, so we cut the big cabbage, and then in its place four little mini cabbages came up, which is kind of cute. Um, I don't know if they'll be edible within the growing season, but hopefully. It's kind of funny. Over in this bed was the later tomatoes, and cucumbers, and the parsley or cilantro. I forgot to label them, so I'm not sure. Uh, the cucumbers, I didn't expect the chicken wire to be able to support them so well, but it's growing up it like no problem. Um, this is a bit of a problem, this pickle. A cucumber has grown into it, but this one will do better. We've already had quite a few cucumbers, more than we can eat. As you can see, there's still some big ones left that we haven't gotten to. The tomatoes uh, in this bed have done really well. These guys have started from seed a little later than the other set of tomatoes, and they did better at keeping blight away. There's still a little bit of blight just starting, but we've already had tons of tomatoes. As you can see, there's a bunch more really nice looking ones coming. I uh, made my own little trellis here out of string. It worked okay, but some of them fell over a little bit. Uh, next year I'll get some more tomato cages. You can see a few fallen over ones there, but there's still so many tomatoes to come. We've made, um, I want to say four pasta sauces, and just from this year's tomatoes, and we'll definitely have at least two more. Uh, parsley, cilantro, another cucumber plant, two cucumbers down there, another one inside of here. So yeah, that bed's done really well. Next to tomatoes and cucumbers, we have the wildflower bed. The black-eyed Susans are doing the best this year. We also have a new chive at the end, because I didn't know where else to put them. And behind those, we have our sunflowers, which are just starting to come out now. I won't even guess how tall the tallest one is, but it's probably three feet taller than me. At the base of the sunflowers, we have our bean plants, which are still producing beans. We had tons of beans off of here. Like some weeks, I think we had beans nearly every night because we were just trying to eat them all. Um, but they have slowed down quite a bit at this point. Well, we could probably do another dinner off of them though. You can see some of them are getting pretty long again. But before it was like each plant had tons of beans hanging from it, so it's definitely slowed down a little bit. This bed are strawberries. I think what's happening here is these two older plants might be kind of coming to an end and they've sent out a younger runner over here. So I'm, we'll see what we'll do with them later in the season. We had tons of strawberries this year as well. We have some more tomatoes. Some of them are on the ground. I'm not going to bother to string them up at this point. This guy here is called a cucamelon or a Mexican mouse melon. It did really, really well after a bit of a slow start. Let me see if I can find some. They're really good at hiding. Oh, there's a bunch right there. There's one. They're kind of like a seedy cucumber that's kind of lemony. And there's a ton more coming. These are just little baby ones. So, yeah, that's doing really well. Some lettuce going to seed. This bean plant gave us a bunch of green beans, still a few left. This plant gave us some yellow beans, and there's still a bunch left. More hanging in there. This 
why this is bolting. And this bean plant still has a bunch of beans to give us. Looks like we're gonna have to have beans for dinner. Over here we have some lettuce in amongst our cabbages. These are our big uh, Clamaro cabbages, which are a storage cabbage and they take a really long time to grow. Uh, but ooh, that's, that's getting pretty close. This one may be a little bit longer. Uh, there's a few younger ones, which I'm hoping might give us a, um, a cabbage, but they might not because I started those ones a bit late for a slow growing plant. Our shade cloth is getting a little flimsy, but it's, the days are getting colder anyway. There's a few cabbages in there that were eaten by those cabbage moths. Next year we'll do a cover, an insect barrier. Um, this is a bunch of broccoli. This is a really huge broccoli plant. Um, we had a bunch of broccoli this year, which is really cool. And uh, these guys should regrow a few new shoots that we can eat as well. Over here, we have onions. I have struggled to grow onions, but these guys are looking really strong. And I actually pulled my first onion, that was like an actual onion sized onion, out of that bed just today. So I'm hopeful. Here's a spinach gone to seed. Uh, this was a couple bean plants. They seem to have a few little, little beans left. Lettuce is still doing good, it likes the colder days. This is peas. They grew like crazy. Um, we eat them as like the flat pods and then once they get a little chonky, we open them up and eat them as actual fresh peas. Uh, this side is a bean plant that did really, really well. They're kind of trying to fight over the top there. I could have pruned them back a little bit, but I didn't. These beans grow um, like actual like beans inside, so we don't actually eat them like this. We shell them and eat the beans. And they're actually really tasty. These guys are bean plants that started really late, so we'll see if we do get a fall um, growing of beans. And I started some carrots and beets and some lettuce, but I think they got a little uh, warm here. That was another trying to get a fall helping. This is parsley or cilantro going to seed. Lettuce going to seed. This is still giving us some nice peas. Chunky ones. So yeah. Over here is our broccolis. Most of them are done, but I'm leaving them in because they'll still kind of send little side shoots like this guy. Oh, or this guy is actually pretty big. Um, yeah, there's still quite a few that we can take. That one's even getting a little old. I'll have to check it a little bit more often. Yeah, it's about a whole dinner's worth left in there. So yeah, I'll just keep letting the plants grow. And uh, the goats have really been enjoying eating the remnants of the cauliflower plants. So I get a feeling that they might also like the uh, broccolis. Here's kind of my catch-all bed. Um, a few onions left. The hose demolished the two corners of onions. Some cabbages. This one's about ready. These clamaro, these slow-growing ones, we'll see if they have enough time. Uh, this is where I pulled our onion from. I think there's more in there I could pull. Uh, some more Clamaro cabbages, which look actually pretty formed. Definitely one to start as early as possible, but the cabbage worms attacked it less, which was a definite bonus. And this parsley or cilantro, check out the bees in there. Whoa! Wow. In this row over here, we had pumpkins and tomatoes. These were my earliest tomatoes, uh, so they were attacked by blight pretty badly, but we still got a whole lot of tomatoes off of them. Uh, you can see the browning leaves there showing blight. This will probably be this plant's last uh, flushing of tomatoes. Um, but I thought this pumpkin plant was only sending out male flowers, but today I saw, today there's a female one and that one should turn into a pumpkin if it has enough time. Over here we had a bag of potatoes. I planted a ton of seed potatoes some way out over there beyond the shade. Um, some of these big, I think they're 30 gallon pots. And then we have a third planting just outside the fence, just mostly in the ground. And uh, the ones in the pots didn't do as well, but we still, we haven't harvested this one yet, but one over there I did the other day. 
They were Yukon Gold potatoes. I probably got, I don't know, maybe 10 potatoes out of it. Uh, so we're hoping that the ones in the ground, which look like healthier plants, I'm hoping those will give us even more potatoes. 